Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be a day to night purple eyes look. I'm going to show you how to do this really clean, simple day look and then how to transition that into this really intense and smoked out night look that I have been loving like crazy lately. So if you want to see how you can do this, just keep watching. So I've already applied my foundation and I'm going in now with Booty Call from the Naked 2 palette and applying it to my entire lid with a Sigma flat shader brush. So now I'm going in with a definer color on the left side of the Petal Pusher palette from Wet n Wild and using a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, I'm just applying this to my crease and a little bit above my crease. This is going to act as a transition color right now and then even later on it'll make the transition color for the deeper eye look even easier to accomplish. So I'm just going back and forth and kind of adding a little bit to it, I'm trying to get it a little darker. And now I'm just going in with the Sigma Tapered Blending Brush just to get rid of any of those harsh lines because we don't want anything too sharp, we want the look to be really soft. To add a bit more dimension to the look, I took the crease shade from the same Wet n Wild palette and applied it to my inner crease. Now using my Real Techniques accent brush and the two shades we used on our eyes from the Wet n Wild palette, I'm going to apply it underneath my lash line and blend it out only halfway. When you're applying that shadow to your lash line, just make sure that you extend it past that V shape that we created with the crease shadows and flick it in towards the inner portion of your eye just to help it blend out. And now I'm just applying that same booty call color from the Naked Dew palette to the inner portion of our lash line. Now I'm taking this Bond Bell Eye Coal Pencil in the shade Ocean and applying it to my entire waterline. Now I'm just curling my lashes and then I'm going to apply a few generous coats of the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Mascara which is my absolute favorite mascara. Now I'm applying my brow bone highlight from the Naked 2 palette I'm using Foxy on a flat shader brush. To fill in my brows, as per usual, I'm using the MAC eyeshadow in Espresso with the Real Techniques Detailer Brush. Make sure that you comb out your brows after filling them in just to help the colors blend and make it look more natural. So now I'm taking the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind for Dark Circles in the shade Fair and using it to conceal and highlight my face. So I'm taking it above my cheekbones, down the center of my nose, on the center of my forehead and a little bit on my chin and I'm going to blend it out with my fingertips. I like to use my fingertips rather than a brush for this because my fingertips are a little warmer and I feel like it helps the product apply better and it's also a lot gentler for underneath the eye area. To contour my face I'm going to use the NYX eyeshadow in True Taupe and the Real Techniques contour brush and taking that into the hollows of my cheeks. And then I'm going to also take it on my temples and connect that to the hollows of my cheek where my ear connects to my cheekbone. 
and also beneath the jawline and a little bit on my neck but I didn't show that on the video unfortunately. And now just a little bit along the sides of my nose and then also at the tip just to kind of slim it down a bit. Now to add a little bit more color back into my face, I'm going to use the Body Shop Honey Bronzer in 04 Deep Matte and a Real Techniques blush brush and I'm going to apply it on the tops of my cheekbones, on my temples, along my jawline and a little bit down my neck. And now just to add a little something to my lips, I'm going to use the Revlon Color Burst in 005 Sugar Frosting and blend it out with my ring finger. And this is my finished day look. It's so clean looking and really simple to accomplish for the morning. I absolutely love it. Now jumping right into our night look, I'm going to take the crease shade from the same Wet n Wild palette that we used before and on a Real Techniques base shadow brush, I'm going to start deepening up that color, adding some shape and also dragging the crease color further in towards our inner corners of our eyes. And now taking a Sigma blending brush and blending out those edges. Now I'm taking the Maybelline Stylish Smokes eyeshadow in the shade Amethyst and applying it to my inner corners and then dragging it towards the center of my eyelid to deepen up the look. Now I wanted to add a little bit more dimension and a more defined crease, so I'm going to apply the shade Blackout from the Naked 2 palette using that same brush I've been using the whole time, the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush, and applying it just to my inner corners and blending it up into the center of the crease. A really important part of these kinds of looks is the blending. It's not really easy to do, but just take your time, add and blend, add and blend, and eventually it'll come to what you want it to look like. Now I'm using the definer brush and the crease shade from the Wet n Wild palette and a little bit of blackout, I'm going to apply it to my lash line, this time dragging it from my inner corner of my eye and then connecting it to where that V is again that we uh, created on the crease. Make sure that you're dragging it all the way in because that's really going to amplify the smokiness of this look. And then I'm just adding a little bit more blackout to the outer portion of it and then blending it with a Sigma blending brush. Now I'm just reapplying that same Bombell eyeliner in the shade Ocean to my entire waterline. To apply my eyeliner, I use the L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner because it's a felt tip and it's super, super sharp at the end, so it's really easy to achieve that perfect cat eye, and it's an amazing dupe for the Stila Waterproof Stay All Day Eyeliner. The falsies that I'm using for this look are the Quo 808s. I love these because they're like wispies, but they're a lot fuller. So they add a lot of volume to your lashes, but they still keep them looking natural. And I just use a pair of tweezers to apply them because I feel like it's a little bit more precise. Now I'm just going back in with my taupe eyeshadow to deepen up my contour and using my Maybelline eraser for dark circles underneath my eyes again just a bit to clear up any fallout and brighten underneath the eyes. Here I'm just adding Nylon by MAC into the corners of my eyes to help brighten them up a bit. And now just finishing off the look with the Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquer in Phenomenon. And this is the completed night look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.